it's Debbie. Welcome to our backyard. So the project that we're working on is stenciling our backyard porch patio area. That's how you kind of get down to um, the main seating area in our backyard. So take a look at what we've done the last few days. Just done a couple rows.
Okay, so just wanted to share a couple lessons learned and tips from doing this stenciling on the patio. Basically, um, this stencil gets pretty thick with layers of paint after multiple uses. So I would highly recommend getting a couple of them. And also if it tears when you're doing maybe a corner or side. Another thing is these brushes. So they are pretty messed up. As you can see, we had three of them. I would definitely get another set. They are not expensive at all. So um, they get worn with use, obviously. Um, finally, a plate like this, that's not porous, but like a plastic um, paper plate, plastic plate, I mean. That is probably the best that we've used as far as pouring paint, being able to access it easily, not having to dip it into a bowl or anything. And then if you have like a lot of paint on your first brush dip, you're gonna put it just kind of all over the place, bounce it around and then go back in and thin it out because otherwise you get too much paint in one area and it will it will bleed through. Um, as you can see, it's, let's show you one here. It's kind of like bleeds through the edges and you don't get that really fine design underneath. And then also just kind of at the end, after you've done all of it, go back in and fill in any whites that you see. I don't know if you see the little whites underneath here and I just kind of go in at a little bit of an angle and get those spots. So let me just quickly finish this off and then we'll lift it up and we just got one more square to do. So again, just looking over it, making sure everything's covered. And then one more thing, sorry, one more thing. I'm gonna show you when I lift this up. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, it's right there. Oh, this is a hole in the, in the cement. Very porous cement. So let me show you the underside of this stencil. <laughs> do you see the bristles that have gotten stuck to this? So we've been breaking them off. It, uh, as you can see, lots of paint buildup and maybe washing it after each day might be helpful. But we've been breaking these little bristles off because it affects the design. So finally, at least we only got one more to do and then this stencil is history, so.